Hello everyone, and welcome back to Cyberkin Productions. Today I'm going to be reviewing the brand new 13th Doctor with Van Back, so let's jump into it. Starting off with the box, it has the same blister pack packaging style from the Recon Dalek, so I'm not going into as much detail. The Doctor logo is shown at the top, and the 13th Doctor actually figure at the bottom. It also comes with a bag and sonic screwdriver accessories. A large window allows a clear view of the Doctor and her accessories. The right side has the same TARDIS picture as seen on the box for the 13th Doctor's TARDIS, but cut down to fit the box size. And lastly, the back shows off the rest of the figure wave, as well as the TARDIS and the sonic screwdriver. That's enough about the box, let's take a look at the Doctor. So here she is, the 13th Doctor. And it's pretty well done. It's taken from the same mod from the 2018 release, so not much is different when comparing the two, with the main differences being the darker hair and the shirt colour. The hair is sculpted perfectly, with detailing of the strands of hair to the side parting at the front. Her brown roots can be seen at the top, which fades into the rest of her blonde hair. The hair is sculpted around her ear on the right side, which features some silver paint to represent her earring. The head sculpt has the essence of Jodie Whittaker, but it's not 100% there. The face features really nice detail, with indents for her cheeks and the dimples around her mouth. The eyebrows, eyes and mouth are painted extremely well and really add great definition to her face. The main problem I have with the face sculpt is the facial expression. The raised eyebrow along with a half smirking mouth really looks strange. It's like they couldn't decide whether to make a smirk or have a neutral expression. So they mashed them both together and ended up with this, which is very weird. Moving down you can see some faint detailing of her collarbones. She's sporting a red slash pinkish top that features the stripes along her chest. The braces can also be seen in the salad top as well as the clips. The coat covers the majority of the figure and is painted in a light grey with the inside and bottom in navy blue. The coat and the hood really looks like drooping cloth due to the amazing sculpting of the coat bunching and hanging in the right places. The coat also has the rainbow stripes on the inner edge. Some paint and sculpting detail can be seen on the side of the coat to represent her pockets. Her arms feature some creasing and wrinkling effect and some added paint detail. The hands are sculpted nicely with one to hold the sonic screwdriver and the other in an open position. They both feature great sculpting detail showing the individual fingers. The waist of the figure is covered by the new bum bag piece, which features some sculpting detail. This piece isn't actually attached to the figure, allowing you to make a custom figure fairly easily. The trousers have been painted in blue and feature some light creasing and wrinkling detail. Her lower leg is shown above her blue socks, and finally her brown boots that feature lacing and creasing detail, along with some paint apps to make them look worn. There's also some legal stuff on the bottom of the boots. Turning to accessories. She comes with a sonic screwdriver, which is mainly painted in silver, but with yellow paint apps to show the tip and the crystal underneath. The sonic also features very good detail for its small size. The sonic fits into her right hand and is held very securely. I really wish her hand was sculpted to point the sonic, much like the 9th and 10th Doctor figures. Turning to articulation, the head is on a ball joint, much like the previous release. It can turn 360 degrees, slightly nod up and down, and slightly pivot from side to side. There's a 360 degree turn on the shoulder, a 360 degree twist on the top of the arm, 90 degree bend on the elbow, and a 360 degree twist on the wrist. The waist can turn 360 degrees, the legs can kick out about 45 degrees, slightly move out to the side but this is hindered by the coat, and can bend at 90 degrees on the knee. So as you can see the leg area is heavily lacking in articulation compared to other figures from the same figure wave. In the size comparison, you can see she doesn't look out of place when put with the Recon Dalek, the TARDIS, or any of the figures. So overall, what do I think to this figure? Again, it's another quick release character I could throw out for this wave, much like the Dudoon. But it's nice to get another variant of the 13th Doctor nonetheless. I definitely think they should have done a variant without a coat, as it would have made a much nicer change. So that concludes this review. If you liked it, please leave a like and tell me what you think in the comments below. If you enjoy Doctor Who content, then also subscribe to not miss any more figure reviews, as well as the Doctor Who fan series that is currently in production. Thank you all so much for watching, and until we meet again, goodbye.